If you are a B.Tech, first, second or third year, there is a very important announcement for you guys before we dive in right into the video. Are you planning to get a salary of as high as 24 lakhs per annum or even more after your graduation? So especially for you guys, there is a very important opportunity. There is a webinar being conducted by top 100 IIT rankers and irrespective of what college you come from or what department you come from, you can get this high package salary of as high as 24 lakhs. They are going to give you steps and a clear path on what you need to follow from now and they are going to give you the skills you need to build, the process you need to follow and a complete clarity on that path. What you can do, you can just go grab this opportunity and register to this webinar. The link is in the description and the process is in the description below. And I have also pinned a comment regarding that. Just go grab this opportunity. This is going to be a huge turning point if you utilize this. And trust me, you are going to change your career with this. So why delay? Just go grab this opportunity. High CGPA equals to high package jobs. Low CGPA equals to low package jobs. Is it really true? Does things work really like that or is it a myth to debunk? In this video, I'll be talking about this specific topic. This is not specifically related to VATAP University, but every campus placements, these things apply because this is a general topic everybody needs to know because they are usually in a perception that I get a high CGPA, I get a high package job and I settle down very quickly, you know, with 30 LPA, 40 LPA, but things don't work like that. Uh, you need to know many things regarding this and in this video it is going to be a short one but it is going to be a detailed one i'm going to talk about this specific topic for those of you who do not know me my name is vivek i make various educational content videos and especially related to vatap university and things related to vatap university because i'm an alum of vatap university i'm the first batch i'm an ec department student and that's about me let's go and dive in right into the video so let's talk about this fact this is a yes and a no when it comes to the fact that high CGPA jobs, high CGPA gives you high package jobs. This is because what high package jobs are? Dimensions which give you high package jobs. And what is the criteria decided by high package jobs or high MNCs? More CGPA and you need to be a better student from 12th also and 10th also, right? They usually set off the parameter of 70% in 10th, 70% in 12th and 9 CGPA in your bachelor's as well. So, one thing you need to note, high CGPA equals high package jobs is partially true but not fully true because not every high package job set the criteria of being a 9 CGPA student. They just said that you need to have 6.5% and that is enough. So you need to understand that being a good student does not mean that you have high CGPA and not all low CGPA students are not good students, right? Companies acknowledge this as well. Generally, when you apply through off campus as well, Google, they don't see even the, your degree requirement, right? If you are from C, you're applying to CS job, they don't need CS student. Anybody can apply it. So basically, this is how things work. Things have been changing in the modern industry, modern job industry, and that is how things work. And going on to say, low CGPA is uh, not equal to low package jobs. This is because, as I have mentioned, even high CGPA people or high CGPA students who are land, they might not be very lucky enough to crack the MNCs which give you high package jobs. And also, even if they crack high package jobs or high MNCs jobs, they, they might not have very good package. For example, in VAT, what happens is that there are criteria of placements. You can just check out my other placement videos for explaining in detail about this. But there are three classifications of those companies like Super Dream, Dream and Regular. If you get a job in Super Dream, uh, you are not eligible to apply for other companies which come in that criteria. But what are really in those Super Dream, if you break that out, we see that MNCs will have uh, super dream criteria medium companies the medium scale companies which give you good package also come into super dream criteria some things right the universities have some criteria of filtering that let's not talk much detail about universities criteria but understand this so what happens in super dream very good MNCs with medium packages by that i mean 8 9 10 lpa packages are also come into super dream criteria some companies so fortunately or unfortunately, if you crack a job or if you get a job in that the companies, you might not be eligible to attend other companies from Super Dream uh, as well. So even if you have high CGPA, uh, if you get a job which is around uh, 8, 9 LPA and which is in Super Dream criteria, you are unfortunate enough, you might not get more than that. If you are low CGPA and you can get low or you can get high as well. So not LHS is not equal to RHS in both the cases and low CGPA does not mean you get a low package. You can apply to both 
high cgpa means that you get a little edge over other students because you apply for other jobs as well the company strict in the the company mentions the criteria and you are fortunate enough to qualify but these are the things you need to know this is a small you know small points which student needs to know before joining even a university because they are in a perception of getting a cgpa by hook or crook and they don't focus on the learning the concept and things like that right i have seen students who just pass the basic criteria of cgpa cut off they get very good jobs why is that because they have very good subject to knowledge they don't apply that in exams but that does not matter right exams are just you know they just make you they just are for this degree certificate what you get but to get a job you need to show yourself show your project your talent in the interviews in the exams and understand these points before going or attending any interview i hope this video was very useful if it was subscribe it and share it with your friends as well if you need any specific video you can just comment it in the comment section below and i'll be happy to make those videos as well thank you so much for staying out so long this is vivek signing off stay safe stay informative bye bye